Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars Custom Diecast Re-Review. Today we're going to take an updated look on Lee Weathers, the late dad of Strip the King Weathers and the late grandson of Cal Weathers and the, one of the early Dynaco racers in the Piston Cup. Now before uh, just a little now before we get right into the re-review, let me discuss something. So um I'm a little wound up from last night right now, so but other than that but besides that let's get right into the retrospective. So, <clears throat> Lee Weathers was a 1948 Biak Roadmaster who bore the number 38 for Dynaco, of which he was the first racer to be sponsored by Dynaco. <coughs> he originated from Greensboro, North Carolina, made in 1949, he also happens to be the late father of Strip the King Weathers and the late grandfather of Cal Weathers. In 1949, I mean, during the first inaugural season of the Piston Cup, he made his debut as a rookie. And in 19... and would go on to win three Piston Cups in 1954, 1958, and 1959, and matched up the... which... His number of Piston Cups tied up with the same number with, as the fabulous Doc Hudson Hornet, Daryl Cartrip, and Clint Shiftwright. The father of Kevin Shiftwright, who I unfortunately don't have. And on that very same year, Year, 1959, when he won his third Piston Cup, he won the first inaugural race of the Florida 500 at Florida International Speedway. And in 1964, tragic happened. He crashed at, at Glen Ellen Speedway, causing his racing career to end, before being replaced by another racer for Team Dynaco right, bu right up until 1969 who was then replaced by Strip the King Weathers, his son, in 1970. In 2000, Lee Weathers had died and he is named after Lee Petty the late father of Strip Weathers' voice actor, Richard Petty, and Cal Weathers' grandson, and the grandfather of Cal Weathers' voice actor, Kyle Petty. And now, with, uh, without any further ado, let's dig right into the re-review and the updates. So, here we've got his happy facial expression, his red, a red circle right on his grill, which indicates that it's the Biak logo. 
we have his white exterior and on the hood we've got the Danico logo on both sides even though even though several racers that have the Danico early ra racers that have the Danico logo do not bear the Danico blue we've got the number 38 and Greensboro North Carolina on both sides of his doors and his one side view mirror now take note that Lee, in my, my take on Lee Weathers, this guy right here is number 38 instead of number 42. To it's to avoid any confusion with another retro Piston Cup racer, Ducky Fauntleroy from Cars 3, who I unfortunately don't have. And we've got another Danico logo and his chrome silver rims on these black wall tires. And on the top, we've got a number 38 and his name signature saying Lee Weathers. And on the trunk, we've got the Dan another Danico logo and the red taillights and the back bumper. And, and on the undercarriage, we have Hudson Hornet. Now, take note that Lee Weathers here is actually a custom made from a duplicate Doc Hudson when... And Lee Weathers is actually a 1948 BX Roadmaster. And now let's pull up some of the other Weathers family members. We've got his son, Strip the King Weathers. His daughter-in-law, Linda the King Weathers. And his grandson, Cal Weathers. And for the other Danico oh, racers, we've got Cruz Ramirez, Lightning McQueen, even though it was shown in Lightning's Daydreams, and Chick Hicks, even though he was shown wearing the Danico blue in Lightning's Nightmare. And the other Danico teammates, we've got Tex, the sponsor's owner. Or should I say the sponsor's current owner? Rotor Turbo Sky, the Danico helicopter. Gray Hauler. Holana Fetch Show. And Luke Pedalwork. And that is it. So, I'm still hoping to find a mother load of Disney Cars die casts. So hopefully I'll try and find some, whether at, other than at places, other than eBay or at Walmart or Target or Meijer, which I doubt if they'll have any, any newcomers, or hobby stores including Toy Fan Addict and flea markets like Treasure Isles or Trader's World, and so on and so forth. But other than that, what do you guys think? Which Danico team member is your favorite? Which Danico racer is your favorite? And which Weathers family member is your favorite also? Please let me know what you think in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel, and please consider supporting my channel by subscribing to me. I'm, I'm also in need of 400 subscribers. So I'll see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. And until then, goodbye now!